You know exactly what I want, baby I need you close to me, holding me when it snows, babe I need your heart while we're under this mistletoe, babe Because your kisses is about this whole Christmas Just need a mistletoe, don't need no Christmas tree Don't need no gifts if you're present I just need you and me to be alone, baby Yeah, yeah, then I'll be good, babe Yeah, yeah just need a mistletoe, don't need a Christmas tree Don't need no gifts if you're present I just need you and me, I to be alone, baby Yeah, then I'll be good, babe I'll be good this Christmas What is up, Halo Army? It's your boy, Milo It's the girl, Hazel and what are we doing today, shorty? Today, we are going to be doing a little mukbang. Answer some questions that y'all have been asking us here and there. We did not do a Q&A, but it's just things that we've been seeing, like messages from y'all that we've uh -huh. been seeing. So, we just wanted to address some stuff and just get everything out in the open and just have an honest conversation with y'all. Basically, we're just going to spill the tea. We're going to let y'all know everything that's been going on, where we've been at in our life. Basically, the next steps. Yep. So, as y'all can see, we got some McDonald's here. Um, it's the only thing open. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, y'all. Y'all know how we are. We're, we're literally vampires. Vampires. It's crazy. I can't sleep at night. So, yeah. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm still hungry. We're like, let's just do this video. So. And I woke up this morning and I was like, yesterday was my last day eating <laughs> fast food. I was like, today, I'm about to start a prep diet. I'm going to start meal prepping. But I guess I'm going to just start tomorrow. <laughs> you say that every day. We both got medium fries. I got two plain McChickens. If y'all don't know the wave already, oh I'm about God. to put y'all on. So bomb. I put her on, you feel me? Get get you a plain McChicken, get you some buffalo sauce, and put your buffalo sauce on your McChicken. And I tell you, it slaps, bro. I got a vanilla milkshake. I haven't had a vanilla milkshake from McDonald's in years. And I'm surprised the ice cream machine was so even So it tastes up. the same? Exactly the same. McDonald's got some fire milkshakes and ice cream. I'm not even going to flex, bro. <laughs> But anyways, y'all, y'all know we're doing Vlogmas, right? I know y'all knew that. Y'all also know that we haven't posted in, like, what, a week? Yeah. It's been, like, a week since the last time we posted. Like, we just stopped in the middle of Vlogmas without giving y'all any information, without letting y'all know anything. The only information we gave y'all when we posted the last prank that you did on me, I posted on mm -hmm. IG and I, was, and I said um, that was the last video we were going to do for a while. But I left you guys wondering why um, I didn't give you guys an explanation, so. So that's what we're basically going to do today. Yeah. Yeah, Just yeah, explain yeah. everything. Um, so yeah, as you see, we are not doing Vlogmas anymore. We're going to explain why, okay? I'm going to just start by saying we had so much fun doing Vlogmas. It was fun, but at mm -hmm. the same time, it would become tiring. Even though it was tiring, I told him, like, oh my god, like this is the most fun I ever had filming. So yeah, mm -hmm. it was fun for me too. As you guys know, YouTube is our job, but I've never really felt like it was a job. You know what I mean? I've always felt like it was more of like a lifestyle. It was more of like a calling. We were able to do something that we enjoy doing so much. And that's pretty much why we do it. You feel me? Because we have fun doing it. It's amazing being able to pick up a camera and capture a moment that you can go back to at any point of time. Even if it's as simple as us sitting here talking, you know what I mean? We can watch this a year from now and actually be able to see where our mindsets are at you know what i mean and compare the two where we're at now and where we will be a year from now so that's one of the things i love about being able to create content you're capturing moments and you're basically living off of these moments you feel me that's pretty much why we love doing it it's a job but it don't feel like a job and when we started doing vlogmas that's when it actually started to feel like it was a job i've worked at mcdonald's i've worked at multiple fast food restaurants i worked for i did inventory and every single job i've ever work for it stressed me out i don't think anybody would ever understand how much vlogmas was stressing me out bro like i've never felt that type of stress with a nine to five that type of anxiety you know what i mean i can even say it i've been with this man for almost three years and i've seen him mad i've seen him in all his emotions and i've seen him stressed before but this oh my god this was like a whole nother level like i never seen him so stressed out like it scared me for me like being his girlfriend being with him every single day and like just seeing him act a way that I've never 
seen him act before i was like okay this is how i know it's really serious especially because out of us both he's the one who handles stress and things like that better so just seeing how everything was getting to him was just like this is just too much and y'all know everything that we was dealing with outside of youtube it was just a lot that was going on you know what i mean like and these we, past few months y'all oh my god it's been crazy Whew. We've been hanging in there, and I even told y'all in Vlogmas Day 2 that we decided to not even do Vlogmas. Like, one or two days before Vlogmas started, we was like, you know what? Let's, Let's just do, do it. it. We mm -hmm. was gonna push everything off just, just because everything that was happening to us. I'm not the type of dude to give up halfway through. If I start something, I will not mm -hmm. blink until I finish that. And that's mm -hmm. one thing that she used to complain about. I will go to the studio, and I will start on a beat, right? And literally, as soon as I start that beat, do not, like, get me out of my zone until I finish that beat. Y'all, he will stay in the studio for 10 hours until he finished what he had to finish. I'm like, babe, he just don't know when enough is enough. He don't know how to stop. Once he has his mindset on something, he's gonna finish it. That's why this was a big deal. Like, Vlogmas is stopping. Like, that's how I knew, like, okay, we just can't do it. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even that we couldn't do it. I feel like if we had more time to prepare for it. Yeah, you we know were just I mean? really unprepared. Like he said, we decided to do this really last minute. It's crazy because we were watching KB and Carla's video because they basically posted... <laughs> The exact same thing and I don't even think they started vlogmas but they already knew the game you feel me so we were watching their video we just heard the stuff they were saying and the first thing she said was I'm just so happy that it's just not us you know what I mean they I'm were saying, so happy we're not the only ones they were saying how they started acting different towards each other giving each other attitudes mm -hmm. that's exactly how this vlogmas stuff is y'all I oh my god bro I want to give an applause to any youtuber that actually pulls it off. I will not tell y'all, it is the most physical, emotional it's just really roller draining. coaster. It's like draining. it is. I was on some creepy, crazy. I would just be sitting in the room like this, just staring at the wall. Well, like my mind is just everywhere, bro. Like we were running off of no sleep. I started thinking that it didn't even matter. Like I start thinking about why did the Teletubbies have TVs on their belt? It literally was messing with my thought process, and we were still trying to create content in the process of our minds just being everywhere. Y'all, let I mean? me just say, every single day, we have to come up with new concepts. Then we had to record it. Then he had to edit it on repeat every single day. <laughs> Babe was the one who stood up editing. And you know, editing takes a long time. Like, it's not something that's quick. I wasn't even the one editing. Like, I'll edit here and there, like, just a little bit to help him out. But he was the one who was editing every single day. He didn't even get no sleep. He was really running on two hours of sleep every single day. If I did stay up that night editing, I wouldn't go to sleep till like eight o'clock in the morning and her is weird but we're kind of like wired to not be able to go to sleep if the other one isn't falling asleep it's super weird even if he was out in the living room he finished one night at like six in the morning even though i was dead tired i could not sleep without him like i just can't sleep without him even though i was editing like i still stood up late every single night too because i couldn't sleep without you we got like six hours of sleep a few days but most of the days i had to wake up early because right after i edit i would render the video and then fall straight to sleep so i would have to wake up early to make sure the video was uploaded on youtube and make sure the thumbnail and everything was edited i'm literally like falling asleep in the process of doing this you know what i mean she will wake up in the middle of me doing this and I'll just be like this, you feel me? There is days where we had to do that for YouTube where I had to like vampire the night just to edit and wake up the next morning to finish the upload and everything, you know what I mean? But it's never been Every 10 days in a row. Day. It's never been 10 days in a row. First night I got some sleep. I slept like a whole 14 hours. We woke up, we was like, today, we're just chilling. And that was like the best thing ever, bro. Oh we, my God. We went out to eat, just laid on the couch. Our intentions were to just take one day off and y'all would have just had to miss one day mm -hmm. of a video. But after I felt that, I'm like, bro, I'm not going back. <laughs> I'm not going back. And that's when we was like, you know what? They will understand 100%. KB and Carla, they also mentioned they would rather be able to focus on better content. Um, content Instead and of just like dishing out that's the thing with us too like we felt like we felt like it got was to forced. a point yeah it got to a point where we're just coming up with dumb ideas like things that you guys don't even want to see just to have a video up for the day there's no point like we rather give you guys like banger videos that are entertaining that you guys actually want to watch instead of a video every day but it's not even interesting this is something i'm really working on i i hate it but i love it so much you feel me and i feel like it's the one thing that's gonna hold me back from reaching my true potential oh my god what being a perfectionist Mm -hmm. That's one thing about myself that I hate so much. It'll be something that is completely perfect, 
but it's not perfect in my eyes, you know what I mean? So I would end up tweaking, and I would mess up everything that I had going just to adjust something to what's perfect for me. That's how I am with videos, so let's say I did a prank on her. I'm sure you guys do not mind sitting through a 25 minute prank with a lot of little empty spaces, you know what I mean? Like if I'm talking to her and I'm like, babe, so what are we doing today? I'm sure you guys, it won't even process to you guys that that little space was there. But me, and you guys always mention this about our pranks. You say, oh, this prank is fake because there's so many cuts. But in all reality, that's I'm just literally, his, that's how he edits. I'm like, literally, literally just wired to cut out every single empty space. So if I'm like, babe, what are we eating today? And the edit is gonna be like, babe, what are we eating today? It's gonna boom, 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 boom. There's never really gonna be a moment of silence. And that's one problem I have. But then again, I love it because the videos always come out in better quality. I hate watching a video where there's no cut, so you gotta sit through every single boring <laughs> part of the video. I was editing a video on the couch and Babe has started editing. So he already edited the first part and then I picked up editing for him. When you scroll through, it's so crazy because do you see the part that he mm -hmm. edited? You would just see like, cut, 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 every second like there's a cut. And then you see the part I edited and there's like a few cuts here and there. It was a few videos where I just, I just left it alone, bro. I was just too tired, falling asleep in the middle of editing, trying to hurry up. And we got no comments about it. So I told myself, I'm like, yo, you need to stop doing this. I'm, matter of fact, I'm, I'm gonna try my hardest to not do it in this video. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Well, I might. I don't know. I tell myself like, yo, you need to stop doing that. It's all good. They don't care. They don't care. But I'm literally wired to just it's annoying. I've been getting so many messages asking where are we? Like, are we gonna make another video? What happened to us? Are we quitting YouTube? Because it's been like a week or so. And I wanted to let you all know that no, we are not quitting YouTube. We just need to take a little break, like we said, because of everything. Sometimes you just need to take a break in your life, you know what I mean? Yes. Because, like I said, it was to the point where me and him were starting to argue. That's when I knew we needed to take a break and just get mm -hmm. ourselves back together. I remember so. she was getting ready for a video, and I was just sitting at the end of the couch just like this. And she walked in, and she was like, baby, what's wrong? I was like, we need a break from YouTube, girl. <laughs> we could have kept on putting out videos just to get paid. Our health was... 10 times more important than that. So I just want y'all to know, I love y'all so much. This is not something we're just gonna drop. We built an entire family. We'll, we built an entire army full of halos, you feel me? <laughs> so um, that's not something we're just gonna let go of. We would never just leave y'all out here dry. If it came down to it and we did have to stop doing YouTube, best believe there will be a very solid good reason. But we are going to start posting again. Like we said, we just need a little break, but we got our stuff back together again so we are going to be posting more frequently now at least two to three a week and i know it's the right time to start back posting because the last few days i woke up like i want to film like, i actually been wanting to film so yeah i feel so weird when we go just a week without filming or mm -hmm. even a couple days when we were doing vlogmas we were waking up like oh my god <laughs> we gotta film let's yeah. we get up and do this next year we are gonna try again we're not gonna try we no, are we are gonna to. do it because we're gonna have about 20 vi we're gonna start filming in october I don't care, <laughs> for real like we're gonna have all the videos ready to go shout out to dear and kim everybody go to dear and kim's page and spam Milo and Hazel loves y'all bro because they go off every year man I salute y'all <laughs> I salute y'all because I was damn near crying every single night trying to do this yeah you know what I mean? It's like impossible to do it like as the days go, you know what I mean? Yeah, it will it will mentally kill you and that's what a lot of us smaller YouTubers do just as a, day by day. But our first vlogmas video we filmed three weeks before it was posted. So best believe if we didn't cancel the plans, we would have had like 15 videos already in our backpack ready to pop, 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 pop. You feel me? On top of all the hard work, YouTube is not rewarding us for it. And I'm sorry, I do not want to come on YouTube and dish YouTube and throw shade <laughs> at YouTube, but YouTube is not rewarding the hard work, bro. There's they're something. blocking people's traffic. The algorithm isn't. It's like all it's messed all up for the simple fact that there's so many people posting every single day. So it's literally yeah. impossible to get recommended or seen. I just want y'all to know it's not just us that's going through this with Logmas. Um, we we just got beat. You know what I mean? And there's a few, there's a bunch of YouTubers that are champing it out. Props to you guys. Like, Prop. oh my god. Shout out to Riss and Quan though because they're posting every single day on their vlog channel and their main channel. He even told me like it's stressful. I just want to give a shout out to them for <laughs> doing what they do because they doing something that's completely like... Next level. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Next level stuff right there. 
Boy, I'm, I'm sweating just thinking about it. Go show them some love, too. We love y'all. We just gonna end this video right here because we didn't want to hold y'all up for no more than 20 to 30 minutes. Just wanted to uh, update y'all, let y'all know everything is good. Everything's fine. Don't worry. We're good. Right, baby? I am wonderful. So, yeah, we're good. But make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed already. Most likely you would subscribe. So, thank you. <laughs> um, if you are subscribed, leave a comment on this video, <laughs> bruh. Um, oh, and really make sure you like this video. Yeah. Like this video. Just Don't need no Christmas tree. Don't need no gifts if you're present. I just need you and me to be alone, baby. Yeah, yeah. Then I'll be good, baby. Yeah, yeah. Just need a mess of talk. Don't need a Christmas tree. Don't need no gifts if you're present. I just need you and me.